today I'm going to do a watercolor of this beautiful uh, picture of uh, Charlestown down in Cornwall. Uh, I've been quite close and I've been I've done other paintings of this but here's a different scene today and of course we've got these lovely boats uh, shapes and gorgeous colors look at the sky there with um, lovely blues and uh, crimsons and a little yellow and of course we've got the green and the banks out here and the dark so I've got to try and keep it fresh and light uh, uh, try and get some of the detail uh, not too much but uh, just sufficient to convey the image so uh, it's pretty detailed so I think we'll get we'll get cracking with that but first of all of course I'll start with a sketch and oh, just a quick look at my uh, palette here. Um, so sort of fairly standard for a lot of people. We've got um, uh, ultramarine, cadmium red, uh, burnt uh, sienna. Um, now that's light red. Uh, oh, um, burnt sienna, raw sienna, greens here. I've got sap green. Viridian and uh, Hooker's Green, of course, uh, Violets there, lovely orange here, uh, Cerulean, a nice Cerulean there, and uh, that's Cobalt Blue there, and various reds, a lot of different reds, Crimson Alizarin, of course, Cadmium Red here, um, Yellow Ochre, um, Cadmium Yellow, uh, Naples Yellow, and a bit of Chinese white. So uh, anyway, we'll get cracking with this and uh, see how it goes. So let's start with a sketch. And um, oh, this is uh, Langton's 140 pounds uh, water paper. And uh, it's got a little bit of texture in it to it, but not much, just a medium. Uh, so we'll get some texture. But anyway, let's see if we can lay out the, um, uh, the general feel of this. So we want to get the the water line um, just a little. You don't want to get it dead in half. You don't want to divide your uh, paper in half like that. Uh, so you just a little uh, above that because we're going to have a lot of things going on in the... Uh, in the foreground. Uh, so that's my horizon line. Try and get that as straight as you can. And then of course I've got um, different buildings coming here. But at this point I'm just going to lay out the rough shapes and the area of, of where they are. I'm not going to do a lot of fine uh, detailed drawing at this point. Uh, it was take far too long. That's the time. Let me think. Right. Um, so and then of course up here we've got the bank and uh, some woodland. So I've just roughly outlined where it's going to go. And we've got more houses here. Some lovely old Cornish buildings and little greens here. So obviously the picture is fairly detailed. So I will need to do some... Um, uh, what should I say, uh, some editing in the sense of simplifying it. So uh, we've got the, I uh, say so we've got the, uh, the horizon, I should say horizons coming along here. That's right, the horizons a bit there. This is the, um, the sea wall or the harbour wall. So again, just a, a rough, representation of it and of course in here we've got some lovely green trees and just in this area we've got um, a retaining wall which is coming down let me see if I get this right it's coming approximately up up to here uh, this lovely old lovely brickwork and stonework and of course you've got a little bit of a key 
coming along here. We'll try and get the perspective right here. And of course, roughly coming in here, and we've got boats in this foreground, which we will uh, do, do a, little bit, a little bit later. Um, so, and of course, you've got little pathways coming down here as well. But the key comes essentially along here. And we've got the uh, sea coming up here. And again, we've got uh, a little bit of structure here. The sea, sea walls. And a little bit of a building here. So we'll keep this fairly loose at the moment. So just try and get these main shapes in and uh, this is the key coming along here of course this has got some beautiful cobbled got some green in this here element here but we've got lots of really cobbled, cobbled stones ancient stones really really lovely cobbled old ancient pathways and of course here, um, in this area, as I say, we've got various walls and trackways that come down to the sea here. So this, I'll have to simplify some of this, I think, because it's just too much detail for us to get in, really. Um, and of course, in the foreground, uh, we've got this... Uh, big ship so let's see if we can that's the bowsprit how do they call this sticks out and getting to see the shape of these main shapes this is sort of canvas over one of the spars here and of course out the main we've got the main mast is coming up here all the masts, I should say. Oh no, we've got two. So I don't know how we designate this vessel. Um, okay, we've got another spar coming here. Oh. And then down here, the main canvas of some canopies here. So covered up and I've got a nice shape there and of course the bow comes in a nice little curve around here like this and uh, different things here so I say there's a nice Nice little um, boom coming across here. And up at this point, uh, let's move this up a little bit higher, I think. Then we've got this. This is, say, this is a canvas covering here. And down here, I say the key comes along there. And uh, we've got, of course, coming on here. Now that will be hidden, hidden by this canvas structure here. And they've got a, a little boom coming there. Huge great mass. And of course, I think. I need to bring that mass back into this position. I've got it too forward, so we will rub out that, this one here. So just sort of roughly laying it out, the main structures. And of course you've got all these um, rigging, stay sails, stay, stays, Put the sails to 
And that's, it's another ma mast here again with numerous rigging. A very solid mass, as you'd expect. Sail the seven seas in this, and of course, we've got the same here and the, the dark of the, the hull coming around here different colours and the, and the water here, all dark, that'll be all dark, um, and our mast, another boom coming out there, yes, I think that's, we need to do that, and extend this somewhat, as I said, these are rough shapes at the moment, um, just trying to lay out a broad area, where we're trying to map it in and of course just from there behind there oh, there's a lot going on in this what have I done taking this on this is uh, quite a challenge to get all this and of course here well in the distance here we've also got another big vessel so i think we'll try and lay the shape out there again that's got a canvas canvas things there and of course it's got masts as well so i think i think we're going to be able to get all this by any mean with all these details uh, we'll have to just hint at them, I think. It's just too extensive bow sprit there. And of course the bow coming down here. And we'll get that line as well, of course. Right. And our seashore here. And actually there's another vessel in here. Um, should I be doing this? And there's other vessels here as well. Um, so here we have the the issue of uh, simplifying things. There's some cars parked on the quay here. So yes, it's going to be tricky, very tricky. But I think I need to simplify. I think I've got more than enough for me to sort of handle here um, as I say the the key is coming along here and let's see come like this do I put any more of these vessels in this is a point um, yes we've got another one down here too um, I could perhaps have a go at getting shape of some other vessel in here again they've got got their masts up here oh my word there's such a lot going on with this it's a very loose sketch and of course here in the middle here we've got another big vessel which is um, just moored up here. How am I going to get the shape? It's got a big blue canopy over here. Can sort of tarpaulin. And then in here, it's got a green one. And this covering, I suppose, is deck. Kind of green there. And of course, this... Um, this vessel, I've got to get the the stern here, 
Let's get the shape. So do you get the shape? That maybe needs to be a bit taller. The shape here. This big blue canvas coming right down here. This green one down here. And uh, of course some of these have got this lovely um, this rigging that they have like a ladder so let's try and get some of that in if we can and as I said we've got the key coming along here got some green coming in here um, and a, yes I think we're gonna have uh, work cut out trying to make something of this Let's have a go then. Let's just see if we can do it fairly loosely and then put in more details as we go. So, the next thing to do is with some clean water. Um, we need with some clean water, perhaps. Whoops, not in my. I can we need to. Clear yeah, this this bit of my palette here, so I can get a nice bit of blue going and not have it contaminated with all this muddy stuff here, which I can use. To be honest, I could be putting something in down here rather than waste it. Just get a little general wash of it coming of this water of this quayside coming comes right up to here right and also along this bank here we could get in a general wash I suppose see we can do some glazing later that's where you put in a, a little more darker darker bank so as I said we'll just use this well, how is this this is a, a one inch synthetic brush here and of course we've got that that wall there coming along and in the background there we've got that sea wall I've got some houses here and again we've got some houses and hillside here so this just we'll see how if we can do this in a very lo loose style it's just too daunting I think to do it in a very tight form at this stage Right, let's, have, let's get, go back to where I intended. Let's clean up my palette again. A bit of tissue. Clear out. You must keep your watercolours as clean as you can. Now, I usually use um, Ultramarine, but I'm, I'm very tempted to, uh, to have a go at using Cerulean. But to be honest, it's... It's the wrong sort of sky, of course. It's, um, no, I think it's a yellow in. A bit of yellow. I think we need to put in, because it's, I think this is, might be an evening scene. Let's uh, just get some more water. I think I need a little bit more water here. A bit of yellow and a bit of ochre. Yellow, bit of ochre. So we're just going to just generally wash it in like this. Right down here. Of course, half of the fun with the with watercolor is is seeing what happens. 
you know, it just seems to have a will of its own sometimes. And then we put a bit of, let's get a bit of um, crimson alizarin in there. Yes, let's get something there. Crimson alizarin, a little. Oh my word, look at this, how it, the sky is, these clouds in the distance. I've got the, my paper on a tilt, of course. Um, and I think we need a bit of, let's get a bit of orange in because there is certainly, there is a hint of orange in, in this sky here. Right, see what happens. Now we need to get some blue so we can get that C out there. Um, I think I will go for a little bit of ultramarine there. This needs to be bluey. Here's our our C out there, our horizon line coming up there. And let's get a little bit darker. We've got a bit of a dark cloud there. Let's see. I'll put a little bit in there. Let's see what happens. Right, yeah, well, let's leave it at that. And look at this bit of um it's fairly light in here. In the harbour. Let's just wash that in. We can add some colours to it later. And of course we've got sort of bit, a bit greeny in this area here. Let's get it a little bit darker. So I've got a bit of sap green there, but put a bit of hookers in it and a little bit of ultramarine. And you see how that goes nice and dark there. Nice greeny color. So We'll put some in here. Right, so I'll do that. And of course we've got green in this part of the harbour, in the shadow of the harbour. We get a little bit of shadow going for the reflection of this ship. Try and keep it shaped there. And we could do, let's get something like that seawall in. But I have to be careful, maybe I need to let things dry a little bit. Yes, let's let that dry. A little bit of digital art here. Right, now, I suppose we could put a bit of um, blue in there. Let's get a nice bit of blue. See if we can get something with this canopy, this lovely thing here. Nice colours. Oops. Right. And of course I could use a bit of that blue down there. Let it bleed into there. Right. Now I need to 
just get a nice bit of um, umber, burnt umber. I'm actually, perhaps we should use a bit of light red. They call this light red. I'll just call it light red, but it's it's really light brown, isn't it? Don't know how it gets to be called light red. Where are we? Can you see that? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see if we can do this. Um, this big brown bit of a tent like structure they've got here. Yes, and of course we've got that boom is coming there. And of course we've got lots of brown here, but I better be careful because that might just bleed. Gonna have a variety of colours in there. And uh, we've got lots of rigging and various bits and this is a boat structure here, um, but on that sea wall, let me see if I can get some things a bit more definition. That's why right, it's coming like this, definition, and a lot here. That's right, let's do it, leave it there. A little bit down there. Right. Put some more detail. Try and get some texture going with this. And of course, I'm using the edge of my one inch. I don't normally uh, use quite such a big brush, but this is just a bit of experimentation here see how far we can do this big and then we'll go back to the details in a minute righty ho let's um and of course let's get some bluey grays going somewhere to uh along there on that structure All right. now it looks a bit of a mess in the moment but I'm hoping that if we hang in there we might make something of this. Um, I need a little bit of a grey, greyish colour, bluish grey. No, I don't think it's that blue actually. No, just a faint colouring here for this canopy. This canvas canopy here and of course it comes right out here as well and all along here let's get some of this use this color create something of a these cobbles right I think I need to change brush let's get away from that big um, far too big right this is I've got a number dollar roni 
this is a number eight number eight brush this is a really good good brush let's get the the bow of that ship in let's get a nice blue going yes nice ultramarine blue can darken it up a little bit put a bit of umber in it to give us a nice dark blue for that hull and I think this is dry so I can hopefully get our our ship shape here it's a very versatile brush this doesn't matter if you leave a few whites that helps in fact I, well I've got this now of course I can put a bit of detail into the um, this canvas that we've got here and a little bit of dark in there and of course try and get the, the line of the hole down here this will all be darker of course it's light and dark contrast which gives you form if it's too flat uh, too flat it looks it'll be one dimensional it won't have any real form and of course why you do that is varying the the tones the colors that you've got and this one waterline there I'll do darker there shortly but I think a bit of the holes coming here and of course we can well I've got this nice umber color I can try and create a little bit of that structure there and uh, a bit more into the that canopy there try and get this bit of boom going along here see all the details they suddenly come together I think all paintings go through an ugly stage it really is and you think oh no you don't give up very tempting to give up sometimes but just view it as experimenting and sometimes you can actually pull it together and surprise yourself and we've got a bit of a dark area in there I think I need to get that sorted out there's a bit of an edge there and the bow spread of course comes in there and it's got all sorts of rigging and of course we've got our our mast which we'll deal with later right here now we've got this come like that and here um, comes to there we've got a triangle here which is under the canopy there it's dark in here I guess I'll put some blue in there in fact we, we've got a man here got a crew guy that's roughly map him out for the time being put his head a little general shape put his shoulders not too much we'll see we'll make more of that later but this is all dark in here and um let's say more darks here in that mast it's coming there and we've got the sort of shapes and that canvas try and get some texture to it And 
just in the head of that. There's all sorts of things here and I think there's a bowsprit there. Just general hints. Perhaps well, shouldn't get carried away with that for the moment. Just need to fill out some of these white spaces so we know, get some idea of where it's going. dry brush there oh no I think that's a green I better do that it's a lovely nice green of that canopy let's uh, put a bit of green in there yes that's about. Now I've got this nice sort of green, a little bit of green here, I could venture here and put a bit of this hillside coming up behind these houses. And of course down here I've got a, some green of one of the big Leylandi I think or something like that. And we've got some green along here. Let's vary the green a little bit. Let's put a bit of sap in this one. That's green along there. A bit of dry brush, give a bit of texture to it. That's the walkway there. And of course on the top of this, you've got a pathway as well. And different greens. We could put a bit of a let's get a bit of a yellowy one going because there's a little bit of a yellowy green there there's more yellowy greens down here and of course in our pathway we've got in between the cobbles got quite a lot of green vegetation and we've got a we've got a bit of green verge there as well let's give that some prominence right here phase off out of our view here right now I need to um, this is not right here I need to get some color in here it's rather off-putting to have all this white here I need to smudge it in a little bit or oh, I need to finish up try and get some thing of the um, this hull completed because it doesn't look very real at the moment and while I've got this bluey grey let's try and do something with this harbour wall we'll put a bit in there and of course we've got this should be dark, darker, or some definition to this wall. Comes along like this. It's a wall there. Goes behind a the ship there. Keep a few lights on the roadway there, but of course, what I've got now, I need to darken this 
this bit of the water here is just isn't reading as there's water. It's got to be a lot darker. So we'll mix that up. You see there I've got some blues, some blues and some green, and a little bit of burnt umber. Um, and that, I think we need to make it a little bit more greeny, a little bit of sap in there. So that again will read hopefully more realistically as our river, our, our banks, our sea, reflections of this, of this harbour wall. And you see how we've got some depth coming. I'll bring some shadows down. Don't want it, any hard edges. Make sure I've got soft edges. Right. Now we need to get this. This is not reading right in here. I need to sort this out. What am I going to do? I think we need some neutral tones. Let's get some some browns and greys and see if we can't screw that in a little bit there and of course I can put when the with watercolour if it's wet if you at the right time you can add a lot of texture and you get diffusion of colours and but the only certain time you can do it. Um, unlike uh, like oil painting, it's never too late with an oil painting. You can just just fire away. Just just when it's dry, or not, you don't even have to wait for it's dry. Sometimes you just can do it. Just correct it. Just paint over it. But you only got. A certain time to do this with watercolor. Anyway, let's see if we can get some of these houses in. Let's try and get some shapes here to represent these houses. We've got several here. Look, just do try and keep some sharp edges to some extent and we'll put in detail later there's a nice rooftop there different one and some up here look so let's vary the color a little bit so we've got some form When we put some some windows in, hopefully you'll start to see some some shapes that suggest housing. Um, got this a little bit of grey there. Let's use it. You can chop around uh, when you paint. You don't have to follow in any. Order. Some people like to go left to right, and they're very um, particular about the order in which they do things. Um, but there's no, certainly no rule that you have to follow. It's just how you choose to paint. Let's get a bit more green in, reflecting there darker and I think I need to put a few darker elements in my seawall there and let's get some 
hoses here. They've got different. Let's get a different colour here. There's a rooftop there. And one here, which is a nice, nice colour. I think we'll do that. And look, some have got nice chimneys. And you've got some, one or two with different coloured roofs. Try and get some variety. Something more on that wall too. I think we've got some windows and things here which we can put in at this stage, I suppose. Right. Let's get some colour from that wall to the room. That's rather off putting. I need to fill this in a bit. Let's get some of this um, form of this shut. Some of the bit of the hull here is in my reference picture is a green but of course this is art you could you can change things around for yourself if you want you don't have to follow the color scheme Right, I think I need some darker colour to try and delineate the line of this vessel here. I am quite quite right, I think there's blackish things coming along here and it's dark in there. I think that dark needs to come down more through there. Gonna have to put these masts in, of course. And we know a little bit where we're where we're going. At the moment, it's all rather confused. Right. And now I need to get a little dark. Under here, under here is just the, the hole. All the vessel is here. I got darks down there. This all fades into the dark, of course. 
ますI think when I've when this is drier I can tighten up on these these lines to delineate delineate my my vessel the shapes try and get the some of the reflections Oh, there's an awful lot going on here. Right. Now let's, what we've got out here, of course we've got a little bit of the cob comes in here. So I need to represent that somewhat. Just gonna get something of that vessel there, and of course we've got to try and get some to represent the water. Don't want any hard edges. What's going on here? Right, let's, let's see. Some shadows like that. Right, let's let's get. Um, we need to put a little more. Something to take this vessel out here, I think. Bring it shape well, like this. Yep, no, I think that's better. And of course, it's all coming in here. How's that looking? Is it coming on? Well, there's always, I think when we get more detail in, we try and um, put more of the, of the ship detail. It might start to make a bit more sense then. A lot of white in this which I try to retain and of course I've got another vessel up here which will try and retain those whites and um, righty how let's um, is it time to get on to the doing something of the rigging and the detail, I think it probably is. So let's move to a smaller brush. Something, uh, let me think, what have I got? Do the job. Yes, here we have. This one is um, a little tiny one. 
is what we call a rigger. That would um, give me a lot more control. So let's get some, let's get a little bit of detail in to some of these places where that we're missing them. Let's see if we can get a bit more realism. Make some darks. Make some darks with some browns and some blues like this. And then of course we can start to put a little details in. You see the sea wall here. We've got little railings. The harbour wall there. And uh, tighten up on that. More detail on the ship. Uh, rigging. Such a lot you could do. But of course you can't. Just impossible to do all the detail. Well, I suppose if you were to spend a few weeks doing it, then there are some people who paint like that. Nothing wrong with that. Might appeal to some people. Um, there's even a like a waste bin here. I'll get something in this wall. Look, you can put these little railings and things of detail come down like that. And of course, you can now put something of your to suggest the houses. And get some like garage doors and things like that. Windows suggest the odd window. Chimneys. suggest some cars here they're very difficult to some windows in there and of course our sea wall there's quite a lot of detail in. So you can spend a lot of time getting the detail right. And of course sometimes it's the detail which people suddenly look at it. You know, the observer will look at it and say, oh yes, that's real. But particularly if they know the, know the location, if you're doing something of a house or something like that. You'd be amazed. People are just taken by that little detail. Don't put every detail in, but you put enough for them to recognize it and say, yes, that's my house. All right, we've got to get some, some of this rigging done, I think. We need to put some of these masts in, I think, to start make it work at all. Right, we're getting there. And this one is coming right up, I think here. Right, I better, somebody pinging me.
picture back. Yes, I was doing um, reading, was I? Um, features. Let's see if we can make more of this. And um, I say we've got. My word, so much rigging. What have you going on here? There's even a boom coming across there. There's one mast in here. Let's see if I can do that without making too much of a mess here. Yes, we get there. Of course, this one has oh, they got so many bits and pieces. You could spend forever doing them. But I think it's a little thicker. I'll try and do that. All right, getting one there. And then we've got another one on this vessel coming, yes, just by the side there. Oh my word, we've got a lot, lots to do there. And this little ship, they've got some here, look. This one. rather rich and red put a bit of blue in tone it down a little bit and as I said we've got such a lot going on in this vessel here there's a one here yeah that's right where I'm gonna put it let's put it here One has got the this little bit thicker, this one. Yes, it's got quite a bit thicker. 
closer to us, of course. So that's why. Um, and I think I need to darken it up a little bit. It's a little bit too reddish. Alright, yeah, let's um oh this one. Yes, they've got more there, look. It's just so many lines coming with these with this I think there's another one I could put in there where is that by the green yes I think it's coming here This one here, let's put one in there. Still not happy with the shape of this one down here. Um, of course, we have got there's a lot going on with this one as well. Let's get that in. That's got sort of stays and lots of ringing things doing here. Of course, this one here, that curve, got this curve right. Some strange. structures here a gunnel I suppose with a bit of a rail and uh, I think I need to put some darks in here on the hull too might give me a bit more form so we get a bit of blue mix with my brown and I think I put that one there. That should help a little bit in my trying to create the form, the shape. And of course it comes up here to the peak and then you do it in there, look, right where it disappears. Then there's got some lots of little bits of detail that comes. And of course I can put a nice white line. Yes, I need to put this dark down here as well. This is not dark enough here. I need to get that dark. Yes, we've got a little bit more um, accuracy there. 
and of course up to one of these or well, several of these things have got sort of little ladders some form and that's dark in there look under that if you put some dark in there that suggests a, an entrance and of course this this old canvas here let's go in some direction that way if you put a few marks you can sometimes describe the the planes really the uh, topography of it otherwise as I said it looks a bit flat so this is curved and sloping down here and the few lines in there right Yes, are we still recording? Oh my word, I've done quite a lot of time. Um, so, press on, what should we do now? I need to get some, so you have a little bit more detail in this house. It's a little bit dark though, isn't it? Let's try and get more dark in here to get this edge done. Dark in here. And a little bit more to show this reflection of this lovely old sailing ship here. Okay, and of course here, oh we've got an old barrel here, that's nice, let's get that in. I've got a barrel standing here. On the key side. And uh, we've got lots of little, so lovely cobbles all along here. And these lines try and suggest some of this. These cobbles, lovely little lines coming along here and onto the key side. And try and get some texture of the the flags we have here and then once we've done that we can because as the perspective applies not just to straight lines but little features like cobblestones they become smaller as they go as they regress into the distance of course whereas here in this area they will be uh, bigger so you'll try if you want to add some realism you can try that to make it interest that's what you're trying to do to retain some interest in the uh, observer you want him to delve into it really where you want to 
sometimes of course you you don't want too much attention and if you do too much detail um, that can happen people start peering and they and they miss miss the main element of your story so always bear that in mind um, so as I say this is quite a bit simpler than than my reference photograph um, but if we try it to do everything we would probably get it wrong um, I think I need a little bit more uh, what should I say yeah I think there's up on these trees here look I can I can do a little few twigs which is how it is of course and on this wall this lovely old wall here you can try and put some more detail to try and show that form and that shape that that's taking so and I'm using a little rigger here it's what they call a rigger brush so it's um it's got actually it's quite appropriate really that I'm using a rigger because this is what it was developed for for doing rigging on ships and that's how it gets that name rigging for doing the rigging in the Victorian time I suppose when all the great sailing ships were plying their trade across the world structures which I could go like this to this one for instance and then, oh yes there's quite a few that are that are uh, giving us some indications right ho now do I do should I darken that up or not? Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, this is the the issue with um, with any painting, um, certainly uh, watercolor, for sure. But uh, you know, when is enough is enough? You know, at what point do you stop? You know, this is when you feel, I suppose. You can't have much more. Right, we've got some Right. I'm getting close to thinking should I stop? Should I stop? There you go, there's the there's the conundrum. The dark on that railing there, look, and um, put some more darks in here, and of course under here. Yes, this needs to be darker here. Look, on this vessel, but I haven't uh, put any any highlighted whites in yet. I wonder whether I should do that. Let's put a little highlight. Sometimes they add something to your painting um, get a little details on your you could go on forever doing these what about the 
into this shit, should I? What should I do? Should I give a little bit more colour there? To make it more interesting. I haven't done much detail on this one, of course, because it's in the distance a little bit. You can't really see it. Um, but I could have a little... i got some darker, uh, some bluey vegetation here. And... I've got to see, could I get a little car in there? Can I make it look like a car? A little shape? I've got some little ones here. Just little hints. And of course we've got our, our man here. Right. Okay, let's just... Make sure I've got a sharp edge on that water there, look, where it meets, comes to the quayside. And I can make that a little bit darker, I think. Right. Okay, so I wonder if I've got enough, I've done enough to show some of these houses here. Oh, and of course this, got to put a nice little bit of detail, it's a nice little rowboat down there. Can I get that in? Yes, let's have a go. Just the old shape. There he is. There's our rowboat. And got a little bit on our boat out there. A little bit some going around there. But we could give a little bit of colour to this vessel. But you want to keep some of the lights if you can with watercolour. That's the um, half of its charm really. Um, let's try and show this this key side with a bit of a little bit of texture. Right, and how have I got? Should I leave that light up there? Or uh, a little bit of. What should I say? A little bit. Yeah, I think I've got some vegetation actually coming in here. Which I could do. I could, with my little rigger, just flick in a few. It'll help sort of frame. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've got. Get the greens well most colors they the closer to you the more vibrancy they have the more chroma as they say as this is called aerial perspective as things in the distance they fade away they become bluer but if your foreground should be richer in color if you can and I've got some greens that are going up the 
side of the uh, in between these stones. So we could. Oh yes, we've got a bit of green up against our barrel there. Going in a line up there, a line there, which helps us with our perspective, of course. And I think we could put a little, a little green. Look, have some interest here. Right. So, are we done? Um, I think I could do. The odd chimney look. We need to put the odd chimney in. Help line it. Just hints of under the eaves sometimes you can put a little line and the windows just a little mark to suggest that you've got something going and what else did I see railings um, oh yes there's a few railings coming along here which I haven't put in and of course, as they come closer to you, they should be somewhat bigger. Have they got any wires connecting them? That's the thing. For our purposes, I'm sure they will. I mean, we don't want anybody falling over, do we? Right. Now... Should I leave it at that? Um, yes, I think I will. I can always come back, of course, um, in a day or so, which is often a good idea, actually. Um, you see things a bit differently sometimes. You just, uh, it just looks different for some reason. You've had a, you get a bit blind when you're at it all the time. So you need to step aside sometimes. And we've got a little green coming down this wall. Of course, you see, you can, the more you look, the more you will see. But of course, you can concentrate too much and miss, miss the main objective, which is to get a nice, fresh, picture the essence of a good watercolor of course and here I notice they've got this green it's tumbling over this wall you know sort of weaves and what have you it's coming over ivy or whatever and on the bottom of all you have so that will help give you a sense of perspective and draw your eye in to the distance right that's it then i think uh we should probably call a halt at that um but of course you've got what you have to do of course is remove the tape and uh, the reveal and my sharp edge of course should um, there we go take an edge off there like that and just the one off the top you've 
enjoyed my little attempt at a nice airy watercolour, nice and light and fresh. And this is Charlestown in, uh, in Cornwall, so you've got to go and visit this place, see all these old ships and um, catch up with some of the, the magic of Cornwall. I've come back after several hours, a little break from it, and added one or two little highlights, which I don't know if you can spot there. Uh, can zoom down here. I put a, a little line around the uh, the hull there, and a few white features, just to give some highlights to bring it out. You mustn't overdo this, of course. And oh, of course, I've you've got to get the obligatory little flags on the top as well. Uh, and I did a couple of buildings out here on the end of the cob and the sea wall and uh, a little adjustments here and there. My barrels are, are much darker there, I think you'll see. Um, but I hope I've, I haven't overdone it. Oh, I've tried to put a few reds and things here. A uh, little uh, life belts and um, little buoys and buoys that you see around here on the sea shore and I have kept some of that lovely lovely sky there let me pull back there 